sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video. Today I'm making delicious sticky buns. To start, go ahead and add two cups of flour and one package of active dry yeast to an electric mixing bowl. safe container add one cup of milk, one third a cup of butter, one third a cup of sugar, and half a teaspoon of salt. Microwave that for about 30 seconds until the butter is almost melted. You want it to be around 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Pour that in your flour mix and add two eggs. Using your bread dough attachment, mix it for 30 seconds while scraping the sides constantly, then beat for three minutes on high. With another two and a quarter cups of flour, add as much of this as you can to your bread mix until it forms a not so sticky ball of dough. Then you wanna knead it for three to five minutes just so it's nice and elastic -y. Now for the sticky part of sticky buns. Add two thirds a cup of brown sugar, one fourth a cup of butter, and two tablespoons of light corn syrup to a non-stick pot. When measuring out the corn syrup, it helps to spray down a tablespoon measure with cooking oil just so your corn syrup releases easier. Go ahead and heat this on your stove until your butter is fully melted and everything is incorporated. Go ahead and roll out half of your dough into a 12 by 8 and a half inch rectangle. butter all over your dough, then mix together half a cup of sugar and one teaspoon of cinnamon, then sprinkle that evenly across your melted butter. While your sauce is still hot, go ahead and divide it evenly between two nine and a half inch circle pans. Now evenly divide one third of a cup of chopped pecans over both pans. If your sauce is a little hardened, you can microwave it for about 30 seconds to soften it. Roll up your dough and seal the edges. Then cut your dough into 12 pieces by dividing it in half, then each half into thirds, then each third into half again. Then you can lay it in your pan, saran wrap it, and throw it in the fridge for the next morning. The first thing you wanna do when you wake up the next morning is preheat your oven to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Then as soon as it reaches temperature, go ahead and turn off your oven, throw your cinnamon rolls in there, and let it rise for one hour. There are two things you can do to help your cinnamon babies rise better. Number one, try not to open the door as much as possible because it keeps that heat in. And number two, you can turn on the oven light which also helps keep the heat stable. Now take your little cinnamon babies out of the oven and preheat it to 375 then bake it for 20 to 25 minutes. You'll know it's done when your sticky buns are a nice golden brown. Also, while it's hot, go ahead and scrape the sides of your pan and flip it onto a nice plate. Then it's ready to serve to your guests or yourself. This is by far my favorite recipe. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.